Hello guys and welcome to this brand new series on my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look into F1 Manager 2023 and starting a brand new series. We're going to be looking into Mercedes Formula 1 team. We're going to be aiming to return them to their former glory. We're going to aim to give them a championship winning car. Obviously we know that in recent years the team hasn't quite been where it should be and as you can tell by the rankings on the left hand side they have the fourth fastest car on the grid as a result of F1 manager. They do have two really good drivers in George Russell and Lewis Hamilton and they have a good reserve driver in Mick Schumacher. So we are going to see what we can do with this team heading into the 2023 season aiming to make them championship competitors for 2024. It's just come to my attention, 63% of you are not subscribed. What are you doing? Click that red button right now. We're now just going to go ahead and set up our manager profile. Obviously, we're going to be replacing Toto Wolf. You don't get to see team principles in this game, unfortunately, but we're going to overtake Toto. We are going to put everything on hard to make this process as hard as possible and we're going to see what we can do so let's get into it now let's start the new game obviously while this is loading up please make sure to check out my channel make sure you hit subscribe like this video and keep your notification bell on so that you can see when we get the next videos today is just going to be an introductory episode we're just going to look around the team maybe make a few adjustments on the facilities, maybe look at some drivers, some staff members that we can replace, and then we'll, we'll wait till the next episode to get into Bahrain and get straight into the racing action. So as you can see here on the left hand side, the board's season objective is third or above, and the long term objective is become constructed champion. That is something which I think we are more than capable of doing. We've got George Russell and both Lewis Hamilton as the drivers as previously mentioned and the first race is Bahrain. So let's now take a look at the team, let's take a look at the drivers, let's take a look at the staff members, uh, let's go and see if any facilities need improving and then we can move forward from there. So as we know the drivers we have George Russell who has two years remaining on his contracts and Lewis Hamilton, who has 10 months, that is a contract which we'll be hoping to extend at minimum a further year. And we have Mick Schumacher. Schumacher may be a driver that I replace for a younger, with a younger driver with much more potential. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. Would you keep Mick? Would you bring in someone else? There's a few options in F2 that I might potentially look at, so we'll see what happens there. Now, if we look at the staff, we obviously have James Allison as the technical chief, uh, Jared Murphy as the head of aerodynamics, Bono as Lewis's race engineer, Marcus Dudley as George's race engineer, and Ron Meadows as the sporting director. Now, as you can see, all of them, bar James Allison, only has 10 months remaining on their contract, so that's something which we're going to have to work on. Now, this is the scouting area. Shall we go and scout some drivers? just in case we have to replace Lewis Hamilton. So I'm gonna scout Charles Leclerc, early doors. And we're then gonna go and scout Lando Norris. And then we're gonna scroll all the way down to a driver you might not expect, but it's one who's really good in this game and he develops really well. We're gonna scout Theo Porsche to potentially replace Mick Schumacher. So now let's get in and look at the facilities. We have level three factory, level three design center, wind tunnel, CFD, and suspension is all level two, and the car park test center is level three. Staff facilities are level two and level three for the race simulator. The race simulator will be massively important if we bring in Terry Porsche. And operations facilities, we have a lot of things which need to improve. The first thing that I'm going to do during this episode is I'm going to upgrade the helipad, I'm going to build the tour center, I'm going to build the memorial room, the memorabilia room, and we'll leave that bit at that for now. We already know what the board one, and this is the championship standings to start the season. I believe this is where everyone finished last year for the 2022 season. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to skip forward 
get to the boring race and see if there's anything that we need to talk about before we end off in this episode. So the memorabilia room has had its first upgrade. We will upgrade again. We're also going to look into developing some car parts. And what I'm going to do to develop these car parts is I'm going to use a spinny wheel. And that way I don't decide what gets done. It's just look of the draw. So on my phone right now, I'm getting up the spinning wheel. I am. So let's get this spinning wheel up. I will screen record it so that I can put it on the screen and you'll be able to see it probably underneath me. So just give me two. So as you can see on the screen below me right now, uh, there's a spinning wheel with all the parts on and right now we are gonna spin the wheel to pick three, no, we're gonna pick two different upgrades and then we're gonna split the ATR period into three, into two, sorry. So we're spinning the wheel now. The first upgrade we are going to do is suspension so just in case i haven't been able to get it on the screen there you can see suspension we'll remove suspension and then spin it again for upgrade number two and upgrade number two is the front wing as you can see there front wing so there are the two upgrades that we are going to do so We'll do the suspension first. We're going to split the ATR period 2.4 on CFD and then 32 on wind tunnel hours. So where does this car struggle? So if we increase, let's increase drag reduction and let's make the team one of the best in low speed. Let's increase brake cooling airflow and let's let's take all the weight out of this suspension so we're going to put five engineers on that we're going to do it on intense it's going to take 29 days so it'll come in for the melbourne gp well it, more like baku because of manufacturing times so let's just confirm that first upgrade then let's go onto the front wing and use the remaining hours We're again, we're going to put full focus into low speed, increasing brake cooling, the airflow sensitivity and the front. And we're going to take that much weight out. That way we still have two to four races for each part and we're not going to ruin ourselves on manufacturing costs. So again, five engineers, intense. That's to make sure that we get the most um, cost effective upgrade to the car that's going to cost four and a half million so we're now going to sim through let's have a look post season testing obviously the car is bang average we're probably going to be just lucky to stay in the points so let's continue forward and get to the barring gp the helipad has been upgraded so let's Upgrade that again because I think that's really important. We're also going to upgrade the weather center and let's skip forward again. So, obviously, here are the driver ratings on the right hand side Lewis Hamilton, left hand side Russell. Take a look at those if you want. And then we're now going to scroll down and look at Mick Schumacher. This is the pit schedule. We're going to focus on pit stop time. We are, let's look at pit stop time, just leave it at that for now. We'll put more focus into that after this first season. So the tour centre has now been built. What we're going to do is we're going to give it a straight another upgrade. Because we need to get as much money in as possible. Make sure Mike has low morale, it's not something that I'm going to worry about because he's only a reserve. And we've now hit the race prep for the Bahrain GP. So, as you know, this first episode, just an introduction, 
if you want to see the Bahrain GP and follow on with this series, hit like, click subscribe, turn on that notification bell and you'll be notified when my next upload comes out. This series will most likely stick to 6pm UK time uh, every weekday. So I will see you in the next episode. Make sure to go and find me on TikTok pictured here and Twitter pictured here. These are the places where I'll keep you all up to date with all my upcoming videos and my thoughts and feelings around the Formula One and football weekend.